Hi guys, this is Tanya Hina with Hawaii Homes by Tanya at Century 21 I Properties Hawaii. Today, my guest is Larry Gonzalez, and he's going to talk to us about what a VA home loan is. I am a sales manager over at Align Mortgage, and uh, before I was a loan officer, I was in the Navy uh, for 24 years. I'm from California originally, but I've been here for about 11 years, and uh, been originating loans for about four and a half years now. I'm a father of three, I love to surf, I love to golf, I love Hawaii. Everything about Hawaii resonates. And when I came here, like so many other people who are active duty who come here, I had no intention of staying. Uh, I had every intention of going back to the East Coast, my retirement home, but I fell in love with, with Hawaii. I fell in love with the people, I fell in love with the ocean. I don't, I don't plan on leaving. Uh, um, I do, I specialize in VA loans, but I specialize in taking care of veterans. So it's my, it's my passion. When I, I met Tony seven years ago. So Tony Diaz is my boss. And seven years ago, I met him on a golf course. Uh, I was golfing with his nephew and his nephew I worked with and he invited Tony along. And, uh, I met him and I started talking to him about what he did. And he talked to me about his job and his passion. And when it came time for me to retire, I thought about, well, what do I like doing? What can I do? And what do I like doing? And one of the things that I love the most about being in the service was working with sailors. Uh, and I had one job where I used to joke around, I made dreams come true, but I kind of did. I was a placement officer. Uh, and, um, but I, I did. I, it was just this within this job. I ran the grad ed program, graduate education programs, and I was helping division officers in the Navy go from their sea duty to their shore duty command. So after you've been a sea for four to five years, you'll pretty much take any shore command, and that's your dream has come true. So I used to joke around. Uh, I made dreams come true, but now, but. That's what I enjoy. I enjoy doing that now. And that's make dreams come true. Enlighten us. As if you're talking to someone who has never heard of a VA loan, is it for the average person? Who is it for? So the VA loan product, it's the best loan product for purchasing a home on the planet. With a VA loan, you, you do not have to have a down payment. And most people, they believe, like especially myself, for instance, I believe you had to have money to buy a home. Where I grew up, when I was growing up, we didn't, my mother, we rented. My mother worked three jobs raising my sister and I for much of my youth, and we rented. We didn't have money. And so I thought you had to have money to buy a home. But with the VA Home Loan Benefit, I didn't, when I was active duty, I didn't know I had a VA Home Loan Benefit until I'd been in for 20 years. All right. And I, I missed that opportunity to buy when I first started my career. So part of my education is educating veterans and active duty is considered veteran. I didn't realize that. And there is no down payment. There's no mortgage insurance. VA interest rates are the lowest out there. Uh, there are less fees with a VA loan. There is no minimum uh, or maximum no money down limit. And used to be in Hawaii, you had, your max loan limit was the county loan limit. Uh, it's $765,600 now. Well, if you've never used your entitlement, you can go above that. It makes more homes affordable for more veterans. It's a great, great product. Okay, so it's only for people who are in the military, active and non-active. Who else does it cover or not cover? Or So you have to be a veteran. Uh, you have to have served uh, for 90 days in wartime, 180 days in peacetime. 90 days in war, 180 days in combat you are eligible. Now we on in Hawaii, we have a lot of veterans who are in the reserves or national guard. If you're in the reserves or the national guard and you've served for six years, you're eligible for the VA home loan benefit. Now, if you're in the reserves or national guard and you were activated on title 10 orders for 90 days or 180 days in peacetime, you're also eligible. You don't have to wait the six years. That's who's eligible. And there's a lot of people on this island who don't know they have, they're eligible for the VA home loan benefit. I, I remember I was at a uh, farmer's market and this uh, old gentleman came up to me. He's like, I don't think I'm eligible. I was served in Vietnam. I'm like, oh, what'd you do in Vietnam? He's like, I was a chief. He sounded like that. And I'm like, so I asked him, well, what did you do? I was a machinist mate. 
I'm like, oh, were you on ships? He's like, yeah, I was on an old tin can destroyer. And I'm like, oh, so you're an engineering department. And my, he's like, yeah. I'm like, well, one, I know you're eligible. Two, do you have a disability rating? And he said, no, I'm, I'm fine. I'm like, yeah, but you worked in an engineering plant. And in those engineering plants, there was asbestos. I can guarantee you, you have some sort of asbestos uh, poisoning. And I told him, all right, listen, I'm going to go verify your eligibility. I need you to go get your disability rating. And sure enough, he did. And he actually ended up being 100% disabled. So for him, that was huge. Uh, for him, that he got a lot of back pay. He got like 30 years, 40 years of back pay. And for the rest of his life, he's going to get over $3,000 a month because that's about what 100% disabled gets you. And he's got the, more importantly, he's got the medical coverage and, that he needs to really kind of help him go through the remaining years of his life. He ended up buying a home in Las Vegas. That's awesome. I, I love how you can you can help people who they've served for many years prior and had no idea, and now they can still qualify for the benefits. Yeah, people just don't know. And, and again, the VA doesn't advertise that your eligibility, right? They, they just don't. They, the VA's got a, a million other responsibilities. You know, that when you're in the service, you're not thinking about, you know, using a VA home loan benefit or, or you're not thinking about your disability. All you're thinking about is the mission. That's what we do. We're thinking about, you know, that next inspection or we're thinking about deployment. We're not thinking about our own benefits. We're not certainly not going to medical because that just takes us away from doing what we need to do. It's just nobody does. Um, and so, but it's important that we do. It's important that you document those problems that you have as they come up, whether it's a sprained ankle, a broken finger, you pulled your back, you know, you think you name it. Uh, we do it to ourselves in the service. Don't just be the tough guy, document it, then go back Isn't to work. It? What does VA stand for? Veterans Affairs. So Veterans that's, Affairs. Yeah. That's the Department cool. of Veterans Affairs. You know, every other loan product out there, you have to have a down payment. A lot of, you know, the average uh, American has about $5,000 in their savings account. You know, they have $5,000 liquid. That's that's not gonna get you a down payment on a home out here in Hawaii. So most people, uh, they condition themselves to renting for the rest of their life. And if you're renting for the rest of your life, are you gonna have financial freedom? Probably not. You know, I think of, uh, you know, my, my mother, you know, she doesn't own a home. Um, she's 70 years old, she's still working. You know, As a veteran, you served your country. You have this benefit. Use it. Buy your home. All right. You, you know, we always say that you should own a piece of the land you swore to defend. You have this incredible benefit. And, Use it. And, First and, step is education. The second step is breaking down all the fears on why you shouldn't buy. Uh, but yeah, you have this benefit. Definitely use it. So how do you folks go out and... Um Educate the public. We we speak to different commands uh, on different bases. Uh, we have our own seminars at our office in YPO. We're doing two seminars a month virtually. It's a two-hour presentation. Uh, it's from six to eight p.m. And to me, it's the best. Uh, it's it's the best VA home loan seminar on the planet. Uh, it's given by my boss Tony Diaz, uh, my mentor, uh, and it's a great. It is invaluable. I learned so much uh, when I went through that. Again, I didn't know I even had a benefit uh, until he told me. And so. actually, people who go, they use us. We actually give them a credit that pays for their appraisal. So that's a $675 credit. Uh, just to spend two hours in your house with a glass of wine uh, and, you know, educating yourself. Free education. I, hey, I, yeah, that's true. I attended the seminar. <laughs> <laughs> and it was in the comfort of my home. I was actually cooking at the time and I was listening to Tony and that was kind of cool. But he had a host of, of valuable information that was, yeah. man, made me want to sign up for the military <laughs> or wish that I had. Or now I'm thinking, hey, kids, you guys want to think about joining the military? You know, <laughs> you know it's less than one percent of Americans uh, join the service. It's harder now. I'd say more over. I, I read a study that less than 35 percent of Americans are who are age eligible can join the military because of physical, mental or other issues that they have. So 
um, that's there aren't a lot of people who are eligible to serve. Um, and uh, that's uh, but yeah, if you can, absolutely, sir. There are countries I think it's there. great, you learn a lot about yourself. You know, as a kid coming out of high school, most kids coming out of high school have no idea what they want to do, most kids coming out of college have no idea what they want to do, but you know, joining the military, seeing the world, learning a little bit about yourself on your own, tell you what, it makes a big positive difference in your life. That's kind of how my husband sounds. And we have twin boys that are 13 right now. And so he's kind of having some discussion on their future right now. Think about the military, you know, and the benefits and that come along with that, especially all the mindset and just personal development, personal growth. Yeah, yeah. no, absolutely. Some people have already um, taken advantage of the VA loan. So what do you say to people like that? Can they get another one or how else can they utilize the benefit versus using it for, okay, their, their home purchase, but there's other ways to use the VA loan. Maybe talk a little bit about that. There's a lot of myths out there. There's one myth. You can only use your VA home loan benefit once. Well, that's not true. You can use your VA home loan benefit. Excuse me. You can sell your home and get the benefit back. You can refinance your home into another loan product and you get your benefit back, or you can pay your home off and you can get your benefit back. So those are three different ways that you can use it more than once. You can also have more than one VA loan at a time. So uh, say you bought a home on the mainland, say in North Carolina, and you spent 200,000, you had a $200,000 loan. And you come to Hawaii where the max county loan limit is $760,000. All right, you can go up to 760,000. So you have $200,000 of your entitlement that's already used. Put it right down here, already used that. You still have five, $560,000, roughly $560,000 a no money down benefit that you could use to buy a second home uh, using your VA home loan benefit. Now, one of the requirements when you use your VA benefit is you can't buy it for an investment home. You have to actually live in it as your, have intent to live in it as your primary residence for one year. But after one year, yeah, that's another myth. After one year, you can rent that home out completely and go buy another home using your VA benefit. I have clients who have bought in their tour in Hawaii, they bought two homes using their VA home loan benefit and they kept both homes. So they're going to leave this island to their next duty station and they have two investment properties. They're now investment properties for him, but he's has two homes that he bought here using the benefit. It's incredible. It's an incredible benefit that, yeah, you use it for your primary residence, but if you play it right if you do it right you can use it to help get you to financial freedom down the road so how was he able to have two homes and then live show that he's living in both homes at the same time or? no he, he lived in the first home for a year or about a year and a half and then he he had enough entitlement he went and bought another home with his remaining entitlement so he's he's got two homes here the, the key is you got you can't be haphazard with it. You cannot be risky with it. You have to, you can't go over your budget. Yeah, you, you want to stay within a budget. You don't want to overextend yourself. People who are overextending themselves, when something like this happens, which has never happened before with the, the coronavirus, well, those people are in a hurt locker. But if they didn't do it smart, you don't just do it haphazardly. Um, and that kind of gets us into you know, some of the problems right now that we're seeing. Uh, I just saw a report today that fully 10% of all government loans, VA and FHA, are in forbearance right now. That's a lot of people who can't pay their mortgage. And I get, I get, I'm, I talked to a, a client. He's active duty yesterday. He ca called me last night, kind of freaking out because he had contacted his servicer uh, and he had set up to do forbearance. He's still getting paid, but the way that the forbearance is being explained by people, you know, people think oh, I don't have to make my mortgage payments for three months or six months. That's an awesome deal. And so they're going into forbearance, but they can make their mortgage payment. At some point you're going to pay. If you can pay your mortgage, then pay it. If you get your, if you're still getting paid, your active duty, you're still getting paid, pay your mortgage. Don't go into forbearance. There's a lot of limitations uh, when you go into forbearance. I had another client. He wanted to buy another home and another property, but he went into forbearance on the one he had. I'm like, dude, you can't do anything. 
because it's going to show up on your credit report that you're in forbearance. So he's he's not going to be able to buy another home. You put yourself in the in the you know financial straits and limitations of what you can do. If you can pay your mortgage, pay your mortgage. Uh, but ten percent of all Govy loans, government loans, are in forbearance right now. That's that's incredible, and those numbers are only going to go up because you got to figure May first is Friday. All right, there's a lot of people who are going to wake up and say, "There's no way I can make this mortgage payment." So we're gonna the numbers of people who are going to forbear going to forbearance is is going to go up pretty significantly. Yeah, I just did an interview with another loan officer. We talked about forbearance and the problems with it and how it is right now um kind of being i guess promoted people are thinking that that's their their way out but to do your research and to team up with people like you folks that will um, educate their client and give them better options Those people than who that, are in forbearance selling- are probably you know, there's a good chance that a lot of them are going to go into foreclosure and while this is different than what we had in 2008, 2009, when we had so many foreclosures and short sales, uh, we're going to have them this time. And it's not because the housing market is bad. It's just because the economy is going to take time to recover. And you think about Hawaii, um, you know, whenever shelter in place is lifted, God, I, and I talked to a couple other folks about this. It's not like we're going to open the airport up and we're just going to start letting tourists come in. You know, there's got to be some restrictions and those restrictions are going to limit or hinder i think our tourism industry and and as people who for people who live in hawaii we want we want those restrictions we don't want people coming here without any type of um you know mitigation risk mitigation taken for them but there's a cost to doing that and that cost is going to be people who are not going to be able to go back to work and if they own homes they're going to go in a foreclosure they're going to you know they're going to short sell uh and those are um that's something that we got to prepare for and the banks have to be prepared for. And that right now, uh, interest rates are historically low right now. They're, but they'd be even lower if banks weren't looking down the road and thinking, all right, well, all these people in forbearance for the next six months, the taxes got to get paid still. The insurance guy has to get paid. So how do we pay that? Well, we increase the interest rates for the people who are buying now a little bit. The interest rates are still really low, but... Um, there's a reason why they're not any lower. And that's just because banks are worried about six months to a year from now when people go from forbearance to foreclosure. So, and I'm not certainly not trying to paint doom and gloom, but I mean, that's, this is a real issue that we're going to have to, you know, beyond the fact that we're stir crazy staying in our homes, uh, you know, there's some, there's some long-term implications of what's going on. Yeah. Right so how does the, I mean, do you recommend in this, situation that people still utilize a VA loan um, or, or how to approach that? I mean, how are you guys approaching Absolutely. This? I got to pay. I, I got to feed my family. No, I'm, I'm joking. Right now, we are in a buyer's market. It's kind of, it's weird. We're in a buyer's market right now and a seller's market. Buyer's market because the rates of ne- interest rates have never been this low. For somebody who's buying, who, you know, a year ago could qualify for a $600,000 home, same income can now qualify for a $700,000 loan. That's how much interest rates have gone down. So the buyers have so much more buying power. But it's also a seller's market right now because the inventory in Hawaii, the inventory is always low. But the inventory right now is really low. Like 50 to 75% of homes that should be on the market have been taken off. So sellers are getting you know, 5, 10 offers on their homes right now. But it's still a buyer's market. But now, once we get lift the restrictions, there'll, there'll be more inventory. But guess what? The the interest rates should stay low. So it'll become an even bigger buyer's market. And again, if you're in the military, if you're active duty or you're a government employee, um, yeah, yeah, absolutely, you have this benefit. The you know the housing market right now across the country, uh, the housing market is one of the strengths of our economy. It truly is. Uh, before. Uh, uh, before we, you know, we got into COVID, our our uh, delinquencies were the lowest they'd been in 50 years. So, I mean, we were doing such a great job and, you know, people had our I- income was solid. Um, debt was was lower. Um, 
unemployment was, you know, at three and a half percent. So you have all these things uh, in play. Housing market was strong and it wasn't out of control appreciating. You know, we were at steady four, four and a half, five percent over the last couple of years. But it was solid. And I think it'll still be I think it'll still be solid, especially in Hawaii, um, just because um, we have such a big military presence. I mean, you look at it. We have all five services here. Pretty major forces. You have, you know, four four star commands, and with a four star command, you have a lot of staff uh, supporting them. And then you also have the shipyard. The shipyard, I think, is the largest employer in the state. Um, military is a strength of our economy. I agree. I agree. And I'm glad there's people like you folks helping them. And thank you for your service. I have, thank you. I don't know when exactly. When did you say that you um, kind of finished out your, or you retired? Right? I retired, uh, I don't know, four years ago. About four, four years ago? That time flies, yeah. yeah. Just four years ago? Yeah. Wow, you guys get to retire early, huh? Well, <laughs> I'm not fully retired. I'm working still. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm doing what I love. And, and uh, I answer the phone. I don't want to say 24 hours a day, but I there are no working hours for me. I actually, because I'm retired, I'm able to flex my schedule to my clients. I know that my clients, they're all working during the day. So they need to talk to me at night. They need to talk to me on the weekends. I'm there for them because when they're working, I'm, I might be surfing or <laughs> I might be golfing, I, but I flex my schedule to, to, to support my, my clients. My, I call them, you know, they're, they're my Ohana. So it's, uh, for me, it's, it's too easy. And I loved it. That's Thank you wonderful. for all the great information, Larry. It's just, it was just wonderful. So, um, Before we go though, I want to ask you, is there any um, final words or thoughts that you could um, share with our listeners? As and I've seen a lot of posts uh, about, you know, don't complain that you're stuck at home. Rejoice that you're safe at home. Uh, I am a, I'm a person of habit. Um, I, I've, Certainly for much of my life, I've been organized with my time and I am even more so now, but I read every day. I, I do things every day that help set my frame of mind. You asked what book I'm reading. I, I read the Bible every morning. It's a little bit, but I read it. The book I'm reading right now, actually, I've had this book for, I don't know, a couple of years. It's called My American Journey. It's the uh, biography of Colin Powell. And for me, it is a history lesson on my life because I was a teenager or younger when he was just kind of coming into his own. This humble, humble human being, the leadership lessons that I'm learning or relearning, I think, uh, just through his, his experience, it's just been invaluable. I, talk, I do a lot of goal setting. I'm a scout master for a Boy Scout troop in Ebba Beach. And every August, I read this other book. It's called The Slight Edge by uh, Jeff Olson. That that book is, I, I read it every, every summer, I read it and every August, right? As the school year starts, I go with my Boy Scouts and I help them set their goals for the and they're always like, well, gosh, the year doesn't start until January. I'm like, hey, dude, don't wait till January. Do you want to do you want to run the race from stop or do you want to start your race with a run and start? If we start our goals in August. When January comes, dude, we're, we're at a sprint already. And so uh, those the, that, that book there, The Slight Edge, is something that I recommend for everybody. Matter of fact, I give it to a lot of my clients. Uh, it's such a great book. That's awesome. I've read that book a, a, a few times. I, that's one of my favorites, too. And the Bible. That's one of my favorites. <laughs> it, it's, you know, I, I read a proverb a day. Um, and uh, it's, uh, you know, every, you know, every, every time I, every day I read, I just saw, there's something that, that pertains, whether it's, you know, being humble, you know, being a parent, um, you know, being a servant. Uh, it's, that is that is the timeless book, you know. Well, thank you so much again for joining me, Larry. This is Pleasure. awesome. Love. Are you on social media? Is can they? I am. I am on social. Follow media. you and stuff. 
<laughs> yeah, absolutely. So Instagram, my Instagram is Larry the LO, uh, and then Larry Gonzalez, Senior Loan Officer, uh, for my Facebook page. So yeah, so they can call me uh, or text me at eight zero eight three four eight five two eight seven. Uh, they can um, also go to my website, uh, www.larrythelo.com, and uh, get a hold of me that way. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm 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 here. I'm always always have my phone by my side. So okay, uh, awesome. Right. So thank you again. I appreciate your time, and I just look forward to seeing you on this journey. It's it's awesome. What what's happening? I just. What's happening is is not the best, but it's also not the worst. And there's a lot of opportunity in it. Yeah. If people absolutely. will just if people just look for the opportunity. And everything. But thank Tanya, I, I want to thank you so much for having me on uh, today. It was uh, it was a pleasure. Um, and I look forward to seeing you uh, at our next seminar. So yeah. Uh, about. So but you have a great day and uh, I'll stay in touch for sure. All right. Take care. Aloha. Aloha.